Game to go over. What's your favorite one, Pierce? I'm going to go with Jacksonville and Houston over 39 and a half. This line is just a little too low for me. Both these defenses are bad. It makes more sense to see these lines near 50. I know the offenses aren't great, but they've played better recently. And there's going to be – it's not even really a narrative with James Robinson. He's a good running back. He's averaging more yards per carry. The theory is with Urban Meyer going out, Robinson's going to get pretty much unleashed here. And you look at what uh, Houston did last week. I like Rashad Penny to go for 137 yards. Jonathan Taylor ran all over them. Everybody's running all over them. The Jets trio of running backs, if you can even yep. call them that, hit almost 140 yards against Houston. So I think Jacksonville's definitely going to be able to move the ball. And Davis Mills played decent last week. I think he can probably 331 yards, about 64% completion rate, touchdown, didn't throw any interceptions, a quarterback rating of above 90, gets a decent matchup here against the Jacksonville team that's me- missing some of their key players on the defensive side. I, you just The offenses are better than the defenses in this game, so I don't understand why the number's this slow. Go with the over. Yeah, Carlos Hyde, by the way, was ruled out earlier today for Sunday, so it is, uh, it's going to be a James Robinson feast uh, for sure. Uh, Steve, what about you, dude? Yeah, give me Falcons and 49ers at over 46 points. I mean, look, I mean, the, the Niners offense has been rolling. They've scored at least 30 points in three of their last five games, and now they get a really soft Falcons uh, secondary run defense. Like, you look at the run defense for the Falcons, they've given up exactly 49 rushing yards in two straight games. That was against the Buccaneers, who never run the ball to begin with, only 15 times in that game. And the Panthers, who have like an RB3 as their RB1 right now, only ran the ball 14 times in that game as well. Prior to that, 100 yards plus in six straight games for opposing running backs against the Falcons. You know, I know the, the 49ers have some issues with the, with their running backs, but the connection that Garoppolo and Kittle has been having alone, just getting them downfield and putting them in position to score in the red zone. The Falcons really struggle against defending against opposing teams in the red zone. Give me over 46 in this one. They should be going back and forth on the field in this game. Alan, which game's going over on Sunday or Saturday? A couple of weeks ago, I would have ordered my own psych evaluation if I said over 39 and a half with Houston and Jacksonville, but I'm going to second that one. Uh, the dead cap bounce of Urban Meyer is real. Sharp betters uh, push that line from three and a half to five. We already said that DK Sportsbook is giving away money, keeping that line at three and a half. But both rookie quarterbacks, Trevor Lawrence and Davis Mills, have that chip on their shoulder narrative going for them. Mills is fighting for a starting quarterback life as Houston is presumably going to make a Watson deal this summer, which brings back a quarterback. I think there's sneaky shootout upside here and I guess not snow seeky since uh, uh, you know the people that are on this now uh, but it's a great spot for Lawrence to push back on that bust grumblings that have started to permeate in the darkest parts of the web.